What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dad Does Videos. As you can see, I'm outside enjoying the late October weather here. And as you could also see, I've got some chicken wire with me surrounding a plant that I recently planted in the front of our house. And the reason why this chicken wire is surrounding a plant is because I noticed that I think some animals have been using it as a snack. So I wanted to protect these. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys how to protect your newly planted plants with some chicken wire. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, let's start with a product that I'm using, and I picked this up from the Home Depot. It is officially called poultry netting. I like to call it chicken wire because that's what most people are familiar with. But it's a uh, from the company called Everbuilt right here, and it's two foot tall by 25 foot wide. You could buy these in different size rolls, so if you need to, you can go up to 50. I think they sell them in 100 foot rolls, or you can get as few as 10 what I like about this is it's galvanized too, so it's not going to rust. Okay, so once you get the plastic off of this product, if you're using this product, this is pretty tightly wrapped. I'm not sure if it comes through on the video or not, but there are multiple places where you can see wire wrapped around the whole thing. There's usually a place, as you can see right here, where um, one of the ends is loose, so you have to just finagle this out. This is what's holding it all together. And then as you can see here, what we do is unwrap the whole thing. And you'll get to a point where the wire that wrapped the whole product is just hooked on to one piece. You simply undo this last part here and remove it. Okay, so after you've got all that wiring taken off, the product can be unrolled. And as you can see here, I have unrolled the amount that I want to use to surround one of my plants. And as you saw at the beginning, they're pretty small plants, so I don't need an overwhelming um, length. So what I'm going to do is grab some wire cutters and just snip all the way up. All right, so here are my, my wire cutters, and here we go. We're just going to go through each piece, just like this and snip the entire way up the length that you want. All right, so now that you have cut through your netting, you simply want to overlap one side with the other, other by a few inches. So when I say that, you can see we just grab this and put this over top of the other side just like this. So you have just a little bit of overlap for the part that we're going to do next. Okay, and once you've got those sides overlapping by a little bit, we're gonna take some needle nose pliers and simply twist these pieces that we cut, as you can see right here, underneath the other side. These basically lock the netting in place. And we do that, or at least I do that, through each of these hexagonal holes here. So you can see, we just take this and move it through the other side. It'll give you a close up view. So what this does effectively locks everything in place. We're gonna go through the whole width of the net and do this. All right, I'll try to give you another close up view to give you a detailed look. So here's one of those pieces that we cut. We just simply wrap that around grab from the other side and pull it through. Same thing all the way around. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure that this is locked in place. Again, another one. Just like that, the whole way. All right, after you've locked everything in place, you should be able to pick this up. See, it doesn't move around at all. Everything is locked in place and ready to go, and we're now ready to put this into the ground. So this next part is probably a little bit unconventional because it doesn't use an actual product that you buy at a hardware store to actually secure your netting into the ground. We're going to use one of those old wire clothes hangers. First thing we wanna do is just unravel this right up top. Needle nose pliers and just simply unravel the hanger from each other, from itself. 
Once you've done that, just straighten it out. And if you need some help from your pliers, as you can see, I've got kind of a weird hook here at the end. Just straighten it out the whole way. And we're going to now cut off, I don't know, I'd probably say, what, eight or nine inches, something like that. And I'm just using my pliers um, just because there's a, uh, a kind of a, a cutter involved right here that I can just squeeze and cut the clothes hanger. So I'm just gonna go, go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is take that piece that we cut off and simply bend it so it forms this shape like this. And we're gonna use this to secure one part of the netting that we just put together into the ground. Let me show you how to do that. All right, so grab your netting that you made, put it around your plant. We're gonna grab the, the stake that we made and find one side, and we're gonna do four of these to secure um, four different parts of the netting at the base. And simply insert this, put it over top of the, the base wire on one side, and just insert into the ground. Make sure the stake goes in fully, and you've secured one side of the base of your netting. We're gonna do this three more times. We'll give you a look at what it looks like at the end. All right, so here is the result. You can see the, the stake that we put in right here. There's another one right here. There's one back there. And then on the side, we've got another one right here. What I like about using the clothes hangers is you can make the stakes pretty long so they get really deep into the ground. Some of the challenges of buying the ones off the shelf from a hardware store are they're not they're not just they're not long enough uh, they just got an inch or two um, that go into the ground and sometimes they'll just pop out so that's why i use this method thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed